Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So let me start off by saying that I kind of messed up. I did buy a new microphone but when I was recording it wasn't on so I recorded the whole intro and outro basically for nothing because like you couldn't even hear my voice. So I'm gonna be doing the whole video in voiceover. I hope you guys don't mind. I know some of you like it when I talk better in videos but for today's video I'm gonna be doing a voiceover so sorry about that so today I did this Christmas holiday glam look with a cute little Santa hat so this look is a little bit tricky it's not super super hard but it is achievable so if you guys want to know how to get this holiday 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 what so if you guys want to know how to get this holiday glam look then please keep on watching so I already did one eye off camera and my brows because I was in such a rush I just had to do it really quick and to prime my eyelids, I used the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and then I powdered it with the RCMA No Color Powder. So to start off with the eyes, I'm going to be using this Sigma brush and I'm going to be using the Morphe 12P palette. I'm going to be dipping in the dark green color and then the neon green colors. So I'm just going to mix these two as my transition color. So with the shadow, I'm just going to be taking it all the way in the inner corner and then I'm going to be winging it out to the brow. That's just the shape I'm going for today, that really dramatic cut crease look. So to darken things up a little bit, I'm just going to be dipping in the darker green from the 12P palette using my Morphe M433, which is very similar to a MAC 217 brush. It's so, so amazing and it's literally half the price. So to carve out my crease, I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tip Concealer in Fair Beige. And this is my first time using this concealer and I can say I am a part of the bandwagon. It is amazing, it's full coverage, it's super 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 thick, but not like that kiki thick. It's actually a really nice consistency and it covers a lot. So girl, I am, now I know why this is sold out everywhere because it is amazing. It snatched my brows and it snatched my crease and my under eyes as you're gonna see later on. But y'all need to get this concealer because it is amazing. So to set the concealer, I'm gonna be using the RCMA No Color Powder. This concealer does set on its own, which I absolutely love, but just to be a little bit sure, I'm going to be setting that with powder. Don't kill me guys, but I already did my wing using the Gerard Cosmetics' liquid liner because I just couldn't do it on camera, I was in such a rush. So right now for glitter, I'm going to be using this new glitter that I don't know if I could talk about yet. All I know is that I collaborated with this amazing brand and they came out with mink eyelashes and glitters and I'm really proud to be a part of this brand because honestly the quality and product is amazing so yeah I'm applying that glitter using the Mac mixing medium and a Tarte gel liner brush now for my lower lash line I'm gonna be dipping in the same Morphe 12p palette in the darker shade and I'm just gonna be smoking out my lower lash line with that using this Morphe brush from the vegan brush set so right now I'm just gonna be highlighting my face using the Moonchild palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills which is one of my favorite highlight palettes ever that she has made and I'm gonna be dipping in the color Lucky Clover which is a really nice beautiful green mint highlighter and I'm just gonna be applying that using this Morphe M510 brush which is amazing for highlight as you guys know I always use this highlight brush it's everything so starting off with the Santa hat, I'm going to be doing the outline with black eyeshadow and an angle brush. This one's from ABH and I'm just going to be doing a regular Santa Claus hat on top of my eyebrow, make it look like it's kind of sitting on it. So once I've outlined that and I like how it looks, I'm going to be going in with my Mirror on Paradise paint palette. I haven't used this since Halloween, so y'all already know we're going to get artistic up in this bitch. So I'm going to be dipping the color red, and I'm going to be filling the entire top portion with red. And then I'm going to be filling the bottom portion with white. It doesn't really matter if it's super white because we're going to cover it up with cotton after. And once you've done that, 
right now I'm just gonna do what I always do and put glitter on everything. So I'm gonna be using my Hobby Lobby glitter. Like I said in my last last video in Catwoman, <laughs> don't use Hobby Lobby glitter because it is not eye safe. But you know me, I'm crazy so I obviously go against safety hazards. So right now I'm just gonna be putting red glitter all over the red portion of the hat. And then to finish off the hat, I'm just going to be putting duo lash glue on the white part of the hat. And I'm going to be ripping pieces of cotton and I'm going to be putting it on the white part to make it look like a real Santa Claus hat. So right now I'm adding Savarsky crystals on my inner corner and my cupid's bow. So right now I'm going to be using Jeffree Star Cosmetics' Liquid Lipstick in Crocodile Tears, which is such a beautiful deep green color, and it fits perfect for this look. And that completes the look. Thank you guys so much for watching. This look was really fun to do, and I can't believe I did it in a matter of 1 hour and 30 minutes. Believe it or not, I was in such a rush. I hope it doesn't show in the final product, but... Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any ideas that you want to throw at me, any looks that you want me to do, let me know down below and I will get to it as soon as I can. Happy holidays. You're going to see many more videos from me very soon. Thank you guys and be safe.